Uh, I am Abhishek Bhardwaj. Uh, I am a senior undergrad at uh, NSIT. And, uh, and I am going to talk about uh, one of my research projects. Uh, it's titled MELOS. And as it stands for Mobile Extension for Low Energy Sensing. So before we get to what MELOS is and what MELOS does, uh, I just want to sum up what MELOS uh, is for you in a couple of lines. So MELOS is basically a smart accessory. It attaches to the audio jack of any phone. And it converts uh, your phone into something really cool. You can do a lot of cool stuff with Milos. For example, you can turn the lighting in the Audi on off with just a phone call or an SMS. You can turn some sensors on, on or off with just a phone call or an SMS. So before we get to how we implement these cool things and how we turn a uh, mobile phone into something that interacts with the physical world, uh, let's, uh, let's rewind back a couple of years and let's see how mobile phones have evolved through the decade. Okay, so I think me and you, we are the mobile generation. Uh, we have uh, grown parallelly to how mobiles have grown in the last decade. So I remember uh, my first phone was a Nokia 1100. I was in high school. And all I ever did with that was text my girlfriend and call a couple of friends. And it had just a torch. <laughs> it had just a torch. That was the cool thing about the mobile phone. So when you used to play cricket and the ball was lost, you could just go with the torch. So this was Nokia 1100. Uh, now we are uh, on smartphones. And I'm, I'm sure many of you are carrying iPhones. Android based phones and Nokia based phones and and these uh, have a lot of cool things on them. So I'm sure some of you are bored in the back. One of you is playing Angry Birds on your iPod, iPod Touch or iPhone. So so one of the cool things is that they have a programming environment where you can write apps on them, download apps on them. But the part that I'm going to focus on is this is the hardware on it. So there are a lot of cheap embedded hardware in these phones. So which is why something like this, which would have cost you 30 or 40k some time back, is now costing you about 10 or 12k. So let's focus on the sensors, particularly the sensors on smartphones. So an average smartphone has these sensors. So let's say if I want to know how to come to NSIT to visit TEDx, so I'll use GPS. It's a lo nothing but a location sensor. If I want to record audio, I have a microphone. If I want to play Need for Speed and turn my car towards the right, I do this. This is where your accelerometer comes in. So I have all these sensors. and. And now I know that uh, I can combine all of these along with the programming environment to make, make my phone interact with the real world. What to do in the real world? So, so I decided to make something out of it. But the only problem I faced was that I always wanted to focus my research on India, on the rural scenario, on low cost, low cost environments. So the problem in India is that although most of us are carrying smartphones, most of us are carrying high-end phones, but the majority of Indian mobile population is in the, the towns, the suburbs, rural India, farmers. So they don't have high-end phones. They just have low-cost phones. And on that phone, there is no programming environment. There are hardly any sensors. Now, but the sheer number is about 400 million. You can do so much with those phones. Go into healthcare, go into learning. And I'll explain how you can do that. But when you don't have the required hardware, you don't have the required software, how do you use those phones for something use, usable, something good in the physical world? So this is why I thought of Milos. And this is how Milos comes to the rescue. So I'm going to just give you and show you what Milos is in a, in a couple of seconds. But so what Milos is, basically it's a hardware attachment. And it just attaches to the audio port of any phone. So what is the lowest phone you can think of? Let's say Nokia 1100 or any small Micromax model. So any phone will have an audio port. So since any phone has an audio port, this, this Milos is portable from the lowest of phones to the highest of uh, higher, higher end phones as well, like a smart, smartphone such as an iPhone or an Android based phone. So there are three basic capabilities of Milos. First of all, it has sensing. So you can attach up to six sensors on Milos. So let's say if I'm a scientist, I want to monitor the soil moisture. I can put a soil moisture sensor on Milos. And just by getting sending an SMS or a phone call, I can retrieve the soil moisture data on my phone. Let's say I want to measure the temperature in this room. I connect temperature sensor on Milos. I place a call to, to Milos, to the phone which Milos is attached to. And I get the temperature in this room. And uh, let's say I want to turn the lighting off, it's on my face. So I again call up that phone and I just press a button on my phone and the lighting turns off. Another part about this is that it has a Bluetooth module on it. So let's say if I'm in the vicinity of Milos and I have a Bluetooth enabled laptop or a Bluetooth enabled phone, I can just retrieve the readings over Bluetooth. Uh, and it also has a micro SD card for storage. So I want to, let's say I want to log data for two weeks or three weeks. Many scientists do that in the field. So they can just leave Milos for two weeks. And when they're done, they can remove the micro SD card, put it in the computer, and have an analysis of the data they monitored. 
So this is what Milos essentially does. And right now I'll just set up a demo and give you how and tell you how Milos works. So give me two seconds, right? So I've connected Milos uh, to my audio port here. I know it's a high-end phone. You guys must be asking, but believe me, it can work on the low-end phones as well. So I need a young strapping lad to call me on my phone. And yes, my best friend since last week, Udit Agarwal. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So he's called. Okay. So can you press five on your keypad? Can you press six on your keypad? So this is how Milos works, and this is just. Can you? So this is just a very small example of what you can achieve with Milos. So I want to just tell you what is inside Milos. I won't get into too many details. So you must have heard about something called a microcontroller. Let's not get into it. Let's just say it has a computer on it and it does the intelligence. There is an SD card as I mentioned for storing the sensor data. There is a Bluetooth module for relaying back data. So I can actually send an SMS to Milos in the future revisions. I can say retrieve sensor data and I can get SMS based logs on what the temperature in this room is. So yeah. So let's get on to the real potential of uh, Milos. So as I mentioned, you can interact with the physical world uh, with your phone. And one of the one of the coolest applications of Milos is having a smart home with just a mobile phone. So let's say if I uh, we have a lot of energy wastage problem everywhere around the world, particularly in developed countries. So let's say I want to turn an AC on off based on the temperature automatically. So I can have a sensor connected to Milos. I can even have an AC connected to Milos at the same time. So when the temperature goes above certain readings. Is the AC can be turned on and off just by the phone call or automatically as well. I can monitor the humidity in the room. I can monitor any amount of variables in the environment just by using a phone call or an SMS. Uh, similarly, uh, another another uh, use we can have is energy monitoring. So it becomes really essential to monitor the energy consumed by each appliance. So we can figure out at what type, what point of day, what appliance is consuming how much energy, and based on those figures, we can optimize. What what device should be on at this point of time? What device should be off at this point of time? We can actually automate that whole process. And the the last application I really want to talk about is just for India, and that is mobile healthcare. You can read up on it afterwards, but I'll give you a brief intro about what mobile healthcare is. So a lot of rural India does not have quality healthcare, and that's just not infrastructure. That's even in the term of doctors. So so what actually people can do is, and what's happening is that. They can actually have some medical sensors applied to them, and they can connect it to Milos. They can take the readings on themselves; they're easy to use, and then send those readings via Milos via an SMS to sitting in an urban city. So the doctor can then analyze data and send back like diagnosis on an SMS back to the cheap or not that uh, developed medical center in the rural area. So that is mobile healthcare, and that that is what Milos can achieve in uh, rural countries. One more. Uh, so one more uh, application is that. Farmers do lose a lot of crops uh, because of drought or because of a lot of rain, and they cannot uh, control their irrigation pumps properly because because of some faults in the line or in the electricity. So they can actually use Milos, and it's been tried out. They can use Milos connected to the mains, and they can actually just by a phone call connect their water pumps uh, the, for irrigation, and then maintain the adequate amount of water a crop needs uh, based on that. So that's called precision agriculture, and can be implemented uh, using Milos. Uh, so, Milos was uh, developed. Uh, I mean, I started working on Milos. Let's say about nine or ten months back. Uh, we have a small institute. Well, not small, small right now, but I think it will be big in a couple of years. So, it's called Triple IT Delhi. It's located in our campus. So, <laughs> I was an intern at uh, the Mobile and Ubiquitous Computing Group at Triple IT Delhi, and we started uh, this idea of making something for rural India and using mobile phones, just because there are a lot of numbers involved in terms of the sheer capacity of mobile phones in rural areas. So I worked in the two faculty there, Dr. Amarjit Singh, Dr. Vinayak Nayak, and along with the PhD candidate uh, Pandara Sami Arjun, and we developed Milos. So I guess after this talk, uh, I have to get the size of this down to a small board so that it just attaches to the phone. It's it'll be really small, and right now the price is about what 40 US dollars, but I'm planning to get it down to 20 US dollars. So that's about a thousand rupees, and it's pretty much viable for everyone. And uh, yeah, and we are funded by Nokia Research Center, uh, so so we are getting funding from there as well. So hopefully, so yeah, hopefully in the coming years uh, you'll see me laws uh, somewhere being used in one of your farms or one of your grandfather's villages or something. So yeah.